chat GPT. First of all, I probably, I think I've done this more than once, but I figured I would come back and tell you what it is. And I even used the artificial intelligence platform to give me a definition. And I asked for it more than once, I think twice, because I didn't like the first definition. So what is, what is chat GT, GPT? Right. So chat GPT, I might as well talk slow, is a language model that uses AI, artificial intelligence, to generate human-like responses to text-based conversations. It was trained using a large data set of human language and can understand and respond to a wide range of topics and questions. And let me tell you, I think it's passed like the bar exam. It's passed something. Users can chat with chat GPT through messaging platforms or websites, and it can provide helpful and informative responses based on its training data. Now, as of today, chat GPT is only going back to 2021. So what does that mean? If you ask it a question, if you ask it a question, you're only going to get the, you're, they're gonna pull information back to 2021. So if, for example, you ask it to do something, but you know you need a resource from 2008, you're going to have to state that resource so it can go hunt for it. So it doesn't mean it can't do it. It just has to work at it. And don't worry, we're going to play with it. So I decided to help you become the expert by coming up with ways to use it in real estate. And I came up with the ways in my head, but we're going to also ask chat GPT how to do it. So here are 10 ways to use it in real estate. Carry version. You could use it for ideas for social media. You could be the neighborhood expert, real estate tips, writing your live content. Like you could ask it to, to write out what you're going to talk about today. Uh, writing a blog post. And I got to show you, I did something cool. Creating a podcast. How about content for downloads? You know, I always say, give things away. Give, 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 and it will come back to you. If you give it away, people are more likely to fill out the form to get the information. So content for downloads downloads or free downloads, seller tips, buyer tips, things we kind of already know. I think we could get more creative um, and maybe ideas for investors. And, you know, and I would say, what can you think of? You could probably say, well, Carrie, what about um, affordable housing or workforce housing? What if I want to have content to talk about it and why, you know, as real estate agents, as a managing broker, I need you to go learn more about just than just residential real estate. I need you to go learn about what's happening in the communities you work in. So I want you to really think outside the box. And so, of course, let's try this thing. Let's try it. So I'm going to share my other screen. And you can see I have it. Now, I do pay for chat uh, GPT. You do not have to pay for it. There are two versions. You can use the free version or you can use the paid for version. I paid for it because I figured... Let me just pay the whatever it is a month might be 20 bucks just in case they go up. Maybe I'll be a legacy person. So you can see over here to the left, I've been playing with it. Lead generation, real estate, uh, TikTok, uh, 10 reasons to use vertical video, Gen Z and millennials, what platforms do they use? That was a challenge because it wasn't pulling the information. Daily reels consumed, it was unavailable. Smart home features list, which was kind of cool. Declutter kitchen like five tips, realtor code, uh, sales funnel. Like I literally asked it a question and I said, can you give me a description of, because I have a class called, think, um, uh, what's my class? There is no inbox in real estate, the successful sales funnel. And I am, I'm actually have to teach it in another state. And typically when I teach it, it's for non-continuing ed but I need to teach it for continuing ed and I have to use another state's license law and I decided I'd use the code of ethics. I asked chat GPT to give me a description because I need a description. And I thought, how cool is this? And here's what's even great. When you do decide to use it, you can regenerate the response. So you'll never get the same response twice. So if you ask the same question, you're going to get something different. You can see that I used it for tips for buying a home, I even asked the question, watch this, social media ebook. Write an ebook from my blog, smartgirlmedia.com on social media. So chat GPT went out and used my blog. These are articles I wrote and it only probably went back to 2021, but it literally gave me, let's see how many chapters, seven, eight, because I have a conclusion. And it would probably write it for me based on my blog post. 
And then notice this is when I asked it the question, you know, in simple terms, what is chat GPT? So what I decided to do for you today is so I could get you using it is in the presentation, I said, here, let me stop it. 10 ways, oh, we got to exit out. 10 ways to use chat GPT in real estate. So I want you to really think about how can you think outside the box? And then I want you to think about how you can plan. So I'm going to, so, so you know, we're going to be doing a whole class on Canva anyway. Um, and I'll make sure you have all the links, but so we're going to do a whole class on Canva, but I want you to consider using maybe even a tool like Trello so you can build out your content. So, you know, the challenge right now is every single month, I want you to create a Facebook group and I'm targeting first time home buyers. And I want all you to target buyers in 2023. What I'm doing is I'm teaching you how to think, but chat GPT is going to help you think. So we've already done October, November, December, and January. And now we need content to go live for February in our private Facebook group. So because all of you by now should have one. If you're new and you're like, here, I haven't created one. I need you um, to, I need you to create a private Facebook group where you're going to target people to join your group, right? And I don't even know. Do I have my card that I sent out? Let's go see. Oh, yep, I do. So to give you an idea, this was this is being mailed out to people that uh, are currently renting and I want to flip them to buyers. And I will tell you, I know it works because someone called Mark and said, hey, um, why do I have your marketing in my house? So I know it works because they're like, we're going to call you when we're ready to buy. So we're targeting people in certain areas. And I know that this stuff works. People will call. Consistency wins. So, um, and, and, and for those of you that don't know Trello, or I'll come back and I'll expose you to it again. Um, but we're going to use chat GPT and we're going to pick the neighborhood. So pick the neighborhood you live in. So I want you to become the community expert and we're just going to keep it simple. So we're going to use, I'm going to choose a new chat up here in the top left-hand corner. Like they made this too easy for us. There's absolutely no reason why you can't do this. And some of us would have been, we, we could probably go back to get our master's degree. That's what Mark is threatening right now. <laughs> so here we go. Um, and and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask it a question based on the city I live in. There we go. So I was really specific. First of all, as this is typing, this is my content for my Instagram page. This is my content for TikTok. This is my content for Reels. This is my content for a blog post. This is my content for a YouTube video. This is my content as a, if I'm a new real estate agent, no excuse. If I'm a seasoned real estate agent and I don't know the neighborhood because I grew up in a different city, for, let me look at this. Um, I know about the railroad days. Let me go see if it's not telling me something. There are things it didn't tell me. And I know we have a, an awesome swimming pool. So I could take it a step further and I could keep asking it questions. Um, let's, 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 let's do this. Uh, does West Chicago, Illinois have programs for dual language in the schools? Now, I know to ask this because I live here, but the cool thing is, let's see what it says. Yes, they do. Now, I knew to ask it that, but I could get even more creative and say, what programs does the city of Chicago, city of Chicago, city of West Chicago, I'm putting in Illinois, because what if there's one in another state? What programs does the city of West Chicago, um, Illinois school district have for uh, let me think. 
since you still have to think to know what to ask it, but let's just go with for students. I could say sports. I could say um, AP classes, dual language program. Look at that. There we go. This is so sometimes you you I could have even done regenerate right now it says stop uh, special education program. I know that the city I live in, we have a special education program for um, kids with autism. I know that we have a special early learning program. You can start at three years old and learn how to play the violin. Like I just know these things because I live here and my kids went to the school district. But sometimes you may look advanced placement. You might not know what to ask. So right now I'm becoming the expert and I might even say, um, are there grant programs available to revive uh, residential, residential real estate? <laughs> in the city of West Chicago. I think you're getting this. I'm keeping this simple. There may be grant programs available to re revive residential real estate in the city of West Chicago, but available and details probably may vary. Here are some potential computer, community development block grant, West Chicago Home Improvement Program. First of all, I have just changed the game because I am the vice chair of the affordable housing working group in Illinois for Illinois Realtors. And we are the people that have to go do the research. They want us to call, boom, it pulled it from the website for me. There is absolutely, I have so much content now that I could dominate on YouTube. The hardest part of this is you have to implement. I was writing this down from notes I had taken before and here it is. I can make suggestions. You have to make the decision to execute. So think outside of the box, like you could write down um, what are fun things to do in the city of West Chicago, Illinois, for kids in the summer. The first one is the best one. I mean, some of the things you're getting, you're getting a repeat, but it's it's giving you the the information. Like, um, like you might even go and say, what is the history of West Chicago? When was West Chicago founded? You know, how many people live in the city you 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 live in? Like, there is a way for you to become an expert in minutes. You have no excuse. And so now that you have this, you you know, first of all, it'll it'll stay here. At least for now, I know it's going to be housed here. But if you're not sure. You can come back and maybe you're going to use a tool like Trello or maybe you're going to use Evernote, but I could create a new board. I'm going to go with, we'll go with my YouTube board. And now I can create another list and I can say um, West Chicago expert because I created a new board and then I click enter. We'll get rid of that. And then I'm going to add a new card. Let's, let me shrink this because it's looking huge and add a new card. I can go back to chat GPT and then here's the question I asked. I copy it, control C. I go back to Trello and I put this in, but then I can now, um, if I click add a card, I can keep adding the, the questions. But if I click this pencil, I can open the card, wait for it. And now I can add the details from what chat G GPT gave me. Control C, bam, and I can save my card and then I can close this win the pop-up and I can add the new card, go back to chat GPT. Does West Chicago have programs for dual language? So I can come back to Trello, put in my card, click enter, click the pencil, open the card, go back to chat GPT and then go get the answer. And, and let me say this, when you do decide to become the expert, oh, you know, you might even ask chat GPT to provide a source. Where did you get this from? Where did, where did you find the information? So you are um, the source of the source that you're not making it up, if that makes sense. I'm always for the source of the source. So I added a new card. 
What programs do you have for kids or students? I go back to Trello. Again, you don't have to use Trello. You could simply use Evernote. You could use uh, Microsoft Word. You could use Google Docs. I'm just trying to make it easy for you. I'm copying, I'm, I'm creating an entire board. And so just know if I could convince Mark to do this for me, it would be gold. Add a card. And then we'll add, I think this, oh, I got a few, I got a few more. Are there any programs available to revive the neighborhood? We'll add this, we'll click enter. We'll copy this. I'm starting from the bottom just because it seemed to make it easier. I mean, really, there's no excuse. Absolutely no excuse. You will save that. We'll close this. And I am using, uh, am I using the paid version of Trello? I think I'm using the, the free version. Might've paid for it for my company. This is um, my smart girl media one. So I might be paying for it. Click the pencil, go back to chat GPT, grab this last one. Look at that. In minutes, in minutes, I have so much content that there's absolutely no reason why I can't go out and talk about the community I live in. And we could come up with strategy. Maybe I don't really want to just sit in my office and talk about this. Maybe I want to go walk in the neighborhood, hold up my mobile device, go live on Instagram, maybe go create my video with YouTube, maybe even go sit in the park and have my tripod up with my microphone. Hold that thought, it's over here. With my microphone and my tripod, because this gets rid of the wind, like today's windy, Plug it into my mobile device and I am live in the park. But this sits on the top of the uh, tripod. No excuse. So we'll come back. We will keep um, building on ChatGPT and Canva because I really need you to think outside of the box and I need you to become the expert. Even if you're like, well, Carrie, I don't want to go live on YouTube or I don't want to create content for YouTube. I don't want to create, I don't want to go live. You could literally just put this together as a slideshow. You could literally, maybe you're willing to do audio and then put up uh, pictures of the city you live in and then do a voiceover. You don't, no one ever has to even see you. So no excuse, you've got this. So my challenge for you is to go to chat.openai.com, create your free account. And if chat GPT is um, if there are too many people on it, just keep refreshing in like 30 seconds, you'll get in. At least that's what it's been so far for me. There you go.